Welcome to this Pin Voicer training session. In this session, we're going to look at deductions and how they work for employees when you're processing pays. And deductions could include things such as setting up you know, a reimbursement that somebody needs to reimburse the you, the employer, for equipment or uh, for child support or superannuation, salary sacrifice. And we'll touch on each of those things just so you can sort of see how they work. And the other thing to bear in mind is you can use the system to set up a deduction to deduct a specific amount up to a certain threshold. So I'll discuss that as well. So in this test record here, you've got, you go to the employee and you would click on the deductions tab. And when you're looking at that, you can see within that whether there are any current active deductions. In this case, there aren't. And if there has been any at all in the past, it will show you the history of those deductions for that employee. And what we'll do is add a deduction, or in fact, a couple of deductions, and then we'll process a pay and come back to the record and have a look at um, what effect that has and, and that sort of thing. So your options here um, in Australia also include a salary sacrifice one for superannuation. Um, and in New Zealand, it's just the two uh, that sit in here. So uh, this is adding a new deduction and this is adding a new addition. So we'll look at the deduction first. If I click on there, so we'll just use an example where um, the person maybe um, owes money back to the company for tools that were provided. So you might call it tools. Um, and this reference here is really only used if you have got um, a deduction that you want to do and you're going to create a bank file. So an example of that might be child support. So you get a indication from child support that uh, an employee has to uh, have that deducted from their pay. And you want to create a bank file to pay that to child support with the reference number that they give you, um, you would put that in there. And then in the ABA or bank file um, that you generate, ultimately that will go in there. Um, with any deduction, you need to code it back to a relevant deduction GL code. And, you know, depending on your system, depends on what you've got set up. Um, and it's just, you know, it could be a revenue type GL code or a, a cost recovery one or, or whatever. Um, but again, that's probably not for this particular training session, but it's just uh, you, would, you would do that. And if you are creating, so child support is probably a good example. If you were wanting to create a bank file to pay that, um, you know, either that one child support or a group in the pay run, um, you would click on there and it would add the bank records. So you could create a, a bank file um, for all of the deductions that you've just done, so to speak. Uh, to send them off um, to pay them to child support or whoever. So in this example, just to recap, we're going to say it's a, a scenario where somebody is repaying, let's say, uh, let's say $50 a week, and they're actually um, repaying a total of, say, $250. So what we've done there is so it's a fixed dollar amount, and we're going to take $50 out, and from the initial starting point they owe $250 okay and so the process when you'll see it as it works um, is that every pay it will deduct the $50 until it gets to a total of $250 deducted and then it stops automatically. Um, if you need to um, you know, set it that it's going to happen every time you pay them, so most people have paid in once uh, in a pay period, um, you would just leave it as that. So imagine, for example, uh, you had this set up and you were doing you know, a normal pay and then for whatever reason you needed to do an adjustment in that same week, um, it would deduct from the second pay. So you, probably 99.9% .9 of the time people would just leave it as that. But if you wanted to deduct from every time you pay the person, you would set that. Um, we talked about recalculating balance, so when I hit update remaining balance, it then pops up with the figure. And then if you've got a protected earnings, you know, you're letting it deduct $50 after a certain amount, either a fixed um, protected earnings or a fixed dollar amount or percentage. And sometimes child support will advise a threshold around that. Um, and if you've got a multitude of um, deductions for a particular person, you can set the order, you know, so particularly that's relevant if you've got 
a uh, predicted earnings, you know, you know, which one they'll do before they'll hit the threshold, for example. So when I hit save deduction, it will now add that in as a deduction, and you can see a summary of that. And so what we'll also do uh, for an example here is we'll add a superannuation salary sacrifice. So this is an example where um, our employee is notified us they want to sacrifice from their gross wages into um, uh, superannuation each um, each week. Um, say they want to do fifty fifty dollars. Um, things like effective dates, etc., are optional. So basically, if I now go to deductions, um, we've got those two. We've got tools, and then it's created a tab for superannuation. And I won't, but if I wanted to remove it, I'll just click the remove button. or obviously edit it, that kind of stuff. So now let's just run a pay for that particular person. So if I click on payroll orders and just go through and throw something in uh, this particular pay for someone. Um, so let's say they did 38 to just to give them some uh, hours for that particular week. In open batches, if I now run that batch, you'll see when I open that up, I haven't processed the batch. But what it's going to do is um, show those deductions. So the salary sacrifice, which is the super one, and the tools, you know, going to the relevant GLs uh, there. So if I now process that batch um, and carry on, and if I went back um, to uh, that employee, so if I might as well just go back uh, to there, and see it. We'll now go to the deductions. You can see the history from a. Um, we show the deduction history, not for the superannuation salary sacrifice one, uh, but for the tools. You can see it's uh, happened each each time. Um, and obviously that all appears on their payslip. Um, and if I look at the tools one, you can now see the balance because we paid fifty dollars over here. Um, the balance is now um, two hundred dollars because obviously it's deducted from that. So it's reasonably straightforward. Additions work in similar same way. Um, uh, and as I said, in Australia, you, you would have the superannuation option. Uh, and in New Zealand, it's just the two, uh, either the addition or deduction uh, scenario that you have in there. So I hope that all makes sense. If you have any questions, obviously contact us through uh, the BIM Voice Help um, uh, in support link from the BIM Voice system. Thank you.